In this video we're going to be adding games or ROMs to the Ambernic RG351M but it will also work for the P model. It's fairly easy and straightforward so let's get started. Hadouken! Removing the SD card is fairly simple. As you can see here you should just be able to give it a little push in and then it should pop out. At that point, we'll need a way to connect the SD card to your computer. Here I have a cheap USB card reader I got from Best Buy. It has a slot for both the micro SD card or you can use the adapter and also plug it into the same card reader. The point obviously being that either way, you're going to need a way to connect to your computer. Your computer might have a USB reader built in or a card reader built right in. Uh, if that's the case, that's fine too. Now with the SD card connected to our computer, you might get this prompt here that is asking you to format the card. If that's the case, just go ahead and cancel out of it. We definitely do not want to format the card. At this point, we're going to open File Explorer since we're on a Windows machine. And we're going to find this partition on the SD card. It's going to be called Games. If you're using 351 ELEC, it's going to be called this, Games. If you're on Arc OS, it's going to be called Easy ROMs. But once we've identified this particular partition on the SD card, we're going to go ahead and open it up. And within here, we'll see a number of different folders that correspond to each system that the RG351 will play. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the folder in here that is named NES because we're going to be transferring over NES games or ROMs. Once I've opened that folder, all I'm going to do is take the files on my computer, the ROM files. I'm going to select them all. I'm going to copy them and I'm just going to paste them over to that folder on the SD card. And it's really as simple as that. You want to do this for each system that you want to add ROMs for. Just find that folder and then move them right over. Once we're done, we're going to eject the card and we're going to connect it back to our RG351. And here you have it. We're powered back on. We have all our NES games in place and we're ready to have some fun. We do hope you found this video helpful, and thanks for watching. If you'd like more information, please feel free to visit us at our website or at our eBay store. The links are in the description below. Happy gaming!